guys it's your girl cheetah mama so today this video i just kind of wanted to briefly talk about customer service because i feel like customer service really does matter and i have been in the customer service industry for since i was 15. so how old am i now 28 so how long is that Shit. okay 13 years <laughs> I've been in customer service, okay? So I just kind of want to let some people know, like if you're not good at interacting with people, you don't really know how to start a conversation or hold a conversation or even like, you know, be friendly or nice or upbeat with people, then customer service is probably not for you and you should probably find a profession that doesn't involve people. Um, because honestly, I feel like when it comes to customer service, it is so hard when you go somewhere, you know, and you expect to be treated a certain way and the person is just not into customer service. Like they don't know how to talk to you. They don't know how to engage. They look at you stupid. They look at you. They're like, hi, no smile. You know, they don't like, they act, make you feel like uninvited. They make you feel like, oh my God, should I even be here spending my money or whatever? Like customer service is so important because, you know, that's like if you were to call Geico, you know, because you're having a problem with your phone and you're talking to Geico and they're like, what do you want? And you literally can hear them not smiling over the phone. You know what I mean? So the steps of customer service, I feel like is to be very, you know, not necessarily saying just, oh my God, hey, 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 but you have to be have like you have to be friendly to some degree you have to be nice you know what i mean you have to like speak you know what i mean so what let's say i'm just going to give you an example like i'm working you know as a cash register you know the person comes up to the counter you just scan their shit and you're like what's up no the proper way is oh hey how are you doing today and you scan their stuff you know what i mean and sometimes you can have light conversation like how's the you know how's the weather out there i haven't been outside all day or anything i like your hair oh my god when you compliment people like they it goes so far like i've gotten so many tips you know what i mean just by speaking you know what i mean and you don't have to know how to speak i'm not great at speaking you know what i mean but i am good at customer service so i would say the first step is to make sure that you're smiling that you have an inviting you know mood if you don't have an inviting mood keep whatever issues you have outside of work where it's at you know what i mean this is a job this isn't your personal life so when you go into your job treat it as a job don't treat it like your personal life like just because you had problems with this or problems with that do you know how many times i've had problems um with anything and i had to go work for customer service a lot of goddamn times you still need to speak engage be sweet so you know as like i was saying you're gonna have a smile on your face you're gonna speak you're gonna say hi you're gonna greet them you're gonna speak you have to learn empathy you know what i mean um meaning that you can understand where someone's coming from let's say someone does come in there and they are having a bad day and you're the first person they see and you're gonna set the tone for the rest of their day you want you want to be like hey you know um how are you doing i hope you have a good day all you really have to say is how are you doing? I hope you have a good day. All the other stuff, all the other key points, you know what I mean? You get it. But when someone tells you like, oh my God, like I just, you know, got a divorce and whatever. Your job as customer service is to acknowledge that you heard them. Like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. Just say, I'm so sorry to hear that. If you don't know how to be empathetic. I'm so sorry to hear about that. I understand something real simple they're just gonna speak you know what i mean when they leave i hope that you have a better day or you have a wonderful day or you have a great day so that's pretty much it it's like not making someone feel like oh my god like they're having to like push a smile out of you when they're coming into wherever you're working at or wherever you're if you have your own business you know what i mean you need to speak you need to engage you need to greet you need to be empathetic you need to listen you need to smile okay hi how are you doing today do your exchange you know what i mean you have a great day bye it could be really that simple okay but some people make it so hard you know what i mean like customer service is so important you know what i mean because i can say like if you're having like a shitty ass day and you walk in and you speak to someone at a grocery store and they're really sweet to you sometimes that will bring your whole entire fucking day up so your job as customer service is if they're having a shitty day, you don't want to make it shittier because guess what? They're going to call your manager and be like, this person's fucked up. Or if you have your own business, they're going to be like, oh, this person, you know, is not a good salesperson. Do not do business with them. They are so rude and unprofessional. You know what I mean? Be sweet. You know, be empathetic. Smile. 
say have a good day say hello how are you doing today that's pretty much it so the only reason why i say that's because i feel like some people do kind of just need the basics because sometimes when you go places some people don't have a lot of customers they're just like what is wrong with what did i do to them you know like you get an attitude you know and my mom was actually just talking about yesterday how you know some lady who cuts her dog's hair and she goes in there she doesn't really speak to her she's like the amount's gonna be this blah 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 you have to understand that you're not talking to robots you can get into a routine where it's like you know you're repetitive but you're not speaking to a robot you're speaking to an actual human being who has actual lives and issues and problems this person could have just lost their job they could be homeless they could anything you know what i mean so your face can be the first the last face that they saw at the end of the day make a difference in this world make a difference in this community like don't just go around treating people how whoever at least be sweet or at least be nice or at least smile sometimes just a smile can make someone's day good when i go places and i if i am having a bad day and i'm like leaving a store up have a good day like, oh my god you know you feel better so your job in customer service is to make sure that you're giving them the best performance that you can okay like i don't care about what happened for you in your life i mean i care but when you're at work, I don't care about what happened. Be at your job when you're at your job. You're getting paid for a reason. You signed up to make whatever it is an hour or if you have your own business, you just signed up to be a business person where you have to deal with people. So you need to show them that utmost respect. Customer service is so important to me. I've been doing it for so long and I have made people's days. People have called back, like when I was working at call centers, and asked to speak to me personally because I was so sweet. And I was like, oh, and it wasn't, it didn't take a lot of effort either. Just literally, they can even hear a smile over the phone when you're smiling, like, hey, how are you? And let me tell you something else. It makes your day better too. When you make someone else's day better, it makes your day even better too. Like, I swear to God, like I could have been having a shitty ass day and I get on the phone or, or see someone at, I worked at a lot of customer service jobs. Okay, that's why I worked in customer service so long. But anyways, that's just a disclaimer. But um, if I see someone in my in person, I'm like, oh, hey. And they're like, oh, hi. It literally just made my day. Like, you know, that type of energy is transferable. So let's transfer good energy, okay? If you want more specific details on how to be great in customer service, I will break it down. I will make a list for you. I have my email under the description bo box below. And I'm here for you guys. I'm here. I'm here to mentor you. If you want to talk, if anything, it doesn't matter what it is. I'll reach out to you guys. I'll talk to you guys, whatever you need, okay? Um, so if you want any more further detail on customer service, let me know and I will draw up a list for you. But the basic is being, like I said, smiling, be a little friendly, say hello, say have a good day, and also make sure that you are being empathetic. So if someone does tell you something, you're not just a robot like, oh, okay, 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 you have a good day, bye. No. You need to sound empathetic, like, oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. You know, that's pretty much all you have to say. Um, you don't really have to go into any type of detail, especially if you're in a business or if you, whatever. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you do, hey, makes you that much better at customer service. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Like, she literally related to me and she just made me feel so at home with her. And then, you know, I feel so much confident going back to her because I know that she's a great person. You see what I'm saying? You want that type of feel. You don't want to oh she's a bitch she's mean she don't even smile she don't even look she just whatever okay so that's all i had to say for today you guys make beautiful choices make this world a better place it only starts with one person one person can reach the masses okay so y'all have a wonderful day i love you guys goodbye